stillness and blessings, love and light, health and wholeness. Blessings, love, and light, wholeness, and health. We ain't working with much, uh, with much daylight, uh, but we're gonna try to get it in. Uh, I wrote a few messages down. Uh, I may have brought the, uh, the wrong uh, paper. Paper, but anyway, you know, I hope everybody uh, in, the, in, the, in the best of health and uh, moving through these heavy energies. You know, it's been raining a lot in um, a lot of places. You know, it's burning up in, in some places. Um, it's getting colder in some places. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of shifts in the weather and in the universe in general. Uh, we got to be our own number one fan, man. Uh, I will say that we gotta be our own number one fan. Compliment, encourage, and inspire. Inspire, comp compliment, and encourage. Um, and they ain't gonna do too much talk. We're gonna get on off into this. This here today. This uh, segment in the. 80k loop law of life and we on the um, topic I think it was elementals but we about to find it y'all just bear with me we about to find it for sure yeah elementals we in elementals in the 80k loop law of life on page 108 Elementals, elementals. What are the elementals? What are the elementals? Well, we know we got earth, air, fire, and water. So we're gonna see how further that go. Life has provided a planet of four elements. Earth represents the density, the physical. Water represents the emotional body. Air, your freedom, and fire, the power of purification and immortality. Those four elements are also represented by four zodiac signs, known as the cardinal zodiac signs. 
do your research. The four elements are inhabited by elementals which act only in divine love in their natural state. These are not immortal beings, but an ascended being can confer, can bestow, can impart immortality upon them. Science tells you your body is composed of billions of atoms or cells. An atom is composed of a nucleus. An atom is composed of a nucleus around which spins a certain number of electrons at a certain vibratory rate. The faster you're spinning, the higher your vibration. The number and vibratory rate distinguish the qualities. All substance is intelligent or has intelligence within it and will respond to intelligent direction. All intelligence in substance is vowed to obey the commands of the individualized beings of God who say I am. That means you, me and you. That means us, the whole. Beings with immortal threefold flame in their hearts. That is how creation takes place. Through that same action is how perfection and destruction can also be made manifest. An enjoyable practice, one, an enjoyable practice one can enter is to picture or visualize every atom in your body as a beautiful little being, a replica of one's own God presence, of your own higher self. The action of them is to mimic or become that upon which your attention is held upon. For each one a little separate being, alive and joyous with the light of the presence. Feel good for no reason at all, man. It's, it's, it's something important in that, even if you don't get it. I don't get it, but I do it. When one, <laughs> when one can really feel that, it gives one a joyous feeling and a new interest in life. It is a good remedy for loneliness. Then the atoms take on the quality of the higher self. Of the, of, uh, of the God force, of the angel, whatever you're focusing upon, instead of the discord, or the chaos, or the confusion, or the hurt. The nucleus in an atom is governed by the flame within the heart, and the electrons circling around it are governed by the nucleus, the out picture according to the, to the nucleus. That is what manifests in lizards when they move along a wall they become in the color of the wall. When they move to another section of a different color, their color changes, becoming that color. The same principle manifests in some other animals. The elementals become that upon which their attention is directed. That is the principle applied in so-called miracles or instantaneous healings, mm, shape shift, transmutations. Mm. Nature never produced anything that would be destructive to mankind, but mankind has produced the destruction. Mm. Beings of the elements are the working intelligence in nature. They produce the vegetation. They bloom and blossom the crops. They range in size from about or less than one fourth inch to 70 or 80 or more feet. There are some large undines in the ocean that size. I think I came across one or two of them. <laughs> Real talk. Of course, it must be understood that this is to be used only for constructive purposes, for the blessing and good of all, the higher good of all. Otherwise, karma is created that will have its return and ill effects upon its creator, mm. and, which be, and which someday has to return before you can be free. When the individual consciousness can control the atom, he can, per he can precipitate. When the individual, when you can control the atom, the atoms within you, you can, you can precipitate. You can have eternal youth and beauty and completely control and govern your world. Water is a condensation of substance. Water is a condensation of substance from out the central sun. And every atom of water is a point of light. About 80% of your body is water. We can qualify water with the full power of cosmic light. We can qualify water with the full power of cosmic light, alkaline water. Water is a natural chemical action. It purifies. Water is a purifying element. 
but in a different way from fire. Peace to the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The Leo, Sagittarius, and, and other fire signs. <laughs> Water separates or segregates the elements into their component, component parts. Water separates or segregates the elements into their component parts, while fire transmutes or changes the actual substance into another quality or into its original pure elemental state. Fire returns it back to the universal substance, the essence, and peace to the other, the air signs and the earth signs as well. Water is a non-conductor to psychic force. We have the four elements of nature, namely earth, water, air, and fire. Each of these is inhabited by beings. Some are called nature spirits. The gnomes, elves, brownies are of the earth element, the undines of the water element, the sylphs and fairies of the air element, and the salamanders of the fire element. All these things that we were taught was make-believe is real. <laughs> they are the workers of nature. Originally, they did not. Originally, they did only constructive work, but as their duty is to obey the commands of mankind with the threefold flame, who are endowed with the threefold flame in their heart, meaning mankind, they have been forced to do the will of man, of which is destructive and imperfect. Their nature is to mimic or outpicture that which they see. They are also weighted down with the discordant qualities of mankind, which cause destructive action to take place. Storms, hurricanes, cyclones, volcanic activities, fires. Pay attention to what's going on, not just in your neighborhood worldwide, man. We gotta, we gotta know what's planned for us. More so, we gotta, we gotta be planning for ourselves. Each element and the beings in that element are governed by or under the charge of a cosmic being. The destructive activity of nature can be controlled by mankind who understand the law, understand the law, and overstand the law, and put it in constructive use. To make the call to release the elemental beings from the discord imposed upon them, one can call to the higher source and to the masters of being in charge of that element and who govern such activities to direct and to and enfold the conditions in their cosmic flame and transmute all discord, chaos, and confusion and flood them with cosmic love. Then visualize the violet or purple flame going forth from your presence and the great beings transmuting the discord into peace and harmony. Then see the pink flame of love enfold the beings of that element, making them again happy and free. Originally the earth was created of pure substance, not so dense as it is now, but more translucent and radiating iridescent colors. As the discord of mankind increased, the substance of earth became soil and more dense and dark. That is why the earth is, the earth or ground is called soil, and because that is a qualification, it would be better not to use the term soil, but earth or ground instead. The electron itself does not take on or become a discordant quality, but it is clothed, as it were, around with discord by thoughts. As a light bulb may be covered with dirt, or a dark cloth which shuts in the radiance causing density, yet the light or filament within is not changed. This density is the state of the earth and the bodies of mankind at present. It is the earth substance that holds the form. Within it would, would have no form. Without it, it would have no form. Air does not hold form. Water being denser than air does not hold form, but seeks its own level, mm. our level. Until recently, the Christ self did not take control of his vehicle, the body. Until about the age of 21 or later, now there has been released a dispensation in which the age has been lowered several years. Up until that time, the body elemental is in control. It makes the baby body stretch its arms and legs and move about for development physically. It focuses the eye just enough and not too much, enabling the child to see. It governs the functions of the body. Also, it is the nature of a child to copy, copy actions. It is the nature of a child to copy actions. Not what you say, copy what they see you do. So we gotta do better by these children. They copy actions, mannerisms, and desires, etc., of adults, because that is the natural action of the body elemental.
You can call to your higher self to take your body elemental out at night while you are asleep and teach it the use of the violet flame. Then it, then it can begin to help you use it in your daily day world. Elemental nature being so adaptable is quickly adjusting itself. For instance, when a cold spell comes on, usually in two or three days or sooner, a person does not feel the great difference in temperature as right at first. That is because the elemental lift or the elemental life force is being is, is, is being lifted as being lifted and has created or set up a resistance to the change in the weather uh, I'm going to pause for a minute we're going to have to um, get back because it's getting hard for me to read we back family we back now that y'all can see me we're going to proceed I'm going to back it up too you can call to your higher self to take your body elemental out at night while you are asleep and teach it the use of the divided flame then it can begin to help you use it in your physical body and day-to-day -day world activities. Elemental nature being so adaptable, it quickly adjusts itself. For instance, when a cold spell comes on, usually in two or three days or sooner, a person does not feel the great difference in temperature at right at first. That is because the elemental life force of his being has created or set up a resistance to the change of the weather or the cold. Beings of the elements are assigned or required to render specific service and are usually confined or restricted within a certain area. They can leave only by permission. After a long time of service and ascent, the master can and does bestow upon such ones immortality if they wish. They sometimes refuse having seen what discord mankind has created. If they accept, they can take physical embodiment as any human being, go, go through embodiment, fulfilling the requirements, and make the ascension. They sometimes refuse, after, let me back up, after a long time of service, an ascended master can and does bestow upon such ones immortality if they wish it. They sometimes refuse, having seen what discord mankind has created. If they accept, they can take physical embodiment as any human being. Go through embodiments, fulfilling the requirements, and make the ascension. If ever in danger of fire called to Oromasis, in case of a fire called to your higher self to pour its radiance over it, see it as a pink blanket, also called to Oromasis and the god of fire. Young children often see and even play with fairies and other beings of the elements. We think it just be their imagination. But I know it's not because I was a child once upon a time and I remember being tapped in with other things, you know, and other beings in, 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 in different worlds and environments. And, 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 and even though I'm tapped in now, I don't have that ability that I, that I had as a child, to, you, you know, but we're working on that. Young children often see and even play with fairies and other beings of the elements, for which, if they let it be known, they are usually chastised by their parents and others. Man, we gotta tap into the kids. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it. We gotta tap into the kids. Um, our session tomorrow gonna be healing, but for the moment, I wish y'all stillness and blessings, love and light, holiness and um, health, like, share, subscribe. Enjoy the rest of y'all evening. I appreciate y'all appreciate me. One, it's out with the God.